the most important test that their doctor can draw on them. They're not drawing. It's a fasting insulin level. That's, that's one of the top tests. That's literally one of the top, the top tests. Top test. The top test. The top test. Um, your levels advisor, I'm a levels advisor. I help them construct Labs 2.0. And Labs 2.0 is five tests. Fasting insulin, hemoglobin A1C, uric acid, trig serum triglycerides, and ApoB. Yeah. And the reason is because all of them tell you about mitochondrial dysfunction. Mm. They don't tell you about obesity. They tell you about mitochondrial dysfunction. Fasting insulin is the single most important test to look for mitochondrial dysfunction. Mm. If your fasting insulin is above 10, you have it. If your fasting insulin is above 15, you have it bad. That's a great way to start. Now, and optimal, would you say, is five or less? Five or less is fantastic. If you're a marathon runner, you have a two. Yeah. Okay. I'm about a three. Oh, well, <laughs> why am I surprised? <laughs> I, of course you are. Um, the point is that the American Diabetes Association tells doctors don't draw fasting insulin. Why is that? Two reasons. First, fasting insulin levels are not standardized across platforms. So different assays. So you could results. run at Quest and it could be different than running it at another company. Right. And the reason is because some assays pick up pro-insulin hmm. in the insulin assay. Pro-insulin oh, is the precursor to insulin. When your pancreas is stressed and it's trying to put out everything it can, it will put out pro-insulin too. And pro-insulin will be picked up in the insulin assay. So you're not actually measuring insulin. That's true. I don't disagree with that. Point is it's high. That's what matters. And if it's high, you got a problem. Right. So draw it anyway. Draw it anyway. It's a cheap test. And right? then you can use that number to follow whether the patient gets better. You have a benchmark for whether the patient gets better. So that's specious reason number one. Yeah. One actionable thing everybody can do today, go to your doctor, ask nicely and get, get this test. It's insulin. not that expensive. Right. Tell them why you care about that. Right. You know, give them a copy of your book if they're open to it. That's a good idea. Right. <laughs> the second reason the ADA says don't draw it is because fasting insulin levels do not correlate with obesity. That's correct. They correlate with metabolic health. Right. You can have those skinny toffee people exactly. who still have a high fasting insulin, there you go. but are not by BMI standards overweight. So both reasons wrong, hmm. get the fasting insulin. It almost feels like just an entire organization that's main goal is to drive a national awareness around fasting insulin would be a good idea. Hey, let's start it. Hey, I'm game. <laughs> I'll put some money towards that. Let's go. Amazing. Hey. Eat real food. Eat real food, get a fasting insulin, okay? And exercise and sleep. Yeah. I mean, you know, sleep, sleep's a big problem it's in huge. this country. It's huge. Okay? Yeah. And it's not just because you're fat. Yeah. It's because of the thing in your pocket. Too much screen time, phone Too distraction. Too much screen time. Yep. Yeah, take your sleep seriously. Yeah, take your sleep seriously. Take your sleep as seriously as you do your diet. Yeah.